Hey everybody, good morning. It's John Edelson coming to you live from my garage in Laguna Niguel, California. 530 Drive number 70. Still going strong. So I hope you're enjoying this and watching it. I like to start off a little joke now. I'm going to change up a little bit. So I'm going to try to start all these out with a short joke. That's why people come on. So give them a chance to load up on the live Facebook feed. Um, so last night, Monica saw this big ass spider. Good morning, Steve Peterson in our house. And she's like, dude, John Spider. So I went to get it. She's like, don't smash it. Take the spider out. I'm like, okay. So I did. We went out and we had a couple beers, played some pool. The spider and I were hanging out. We talked for a while. Super cool guy. Come to find out, he wants to be a web developer. <laughs> okay, on to the thing. So today is about um, asking how to get what you want. There's three ways to really get what you want. You got to ask for it. Good morning, Rex. Janelle, how are you in Boston? Hamid, how are you this morning? <laughs> It's lazy for me too. Five thirty here, um, so it's ask. It's ask. You know, the, I I read the whole Bible. I'm not I'm not um a perfect. I don't know scripture hand by hand. But there's the the one thing that I've really taken out of it is how to really get what you want. And the way to get what you want, as it says in the Bible, ask. You know the rest of it, and ye shall receive. What's the most things that people don't do? They don't ask for what they want. You've got to ask for it. You've got to make concrete goals and ask for what you want and work towards that. You know, it's so important. You know, like I said, I'm not an expert of the Bible, but that's pretty good stuff. You might want to look into that. Ask and you shall receive. So off the Bible now. now let's go into um, the three steps of doing this. First thing you have to ask. Asking is the beginning of the receiving. It's the start of the process. It starts a machine rolling once you start asking and setting those goals and putting out there what you want and it's literally asking for what you want, praying for what you want, talking to people what you want, asking your boss for what you want. When you start that machine rolling, you, know, you don't have to know how it works. It just starts the machine rolling. It gets momentum going. You know, it gets your mind right in the right set in the right setup. Don't spend so much time studying the roots of the tree and figure out how it works. Pick the fruit. Go for it. Find out what you want and go get it. Number two, the receiving part is automatic. Once the machine's going, you just it starts coming in. The biggest problem is you don't know how to ask for it. It's just failure to ask. You got to have great goals. They've got to be specific. They've got to be clear. You've got to you know have time frames. You've got to have amounts. You've got to have you know I want to go on vacation to Australia, but I've got to narrow down how much it's going to cost, when I'm going to go. It's going to be all of December of next year, and I'm I'm working towards that goal. It's a big goal for me. You know, with our whole family to go spend a month in Australia, all of December. So I keep putting that in my head and I keep making the action plan to make that happen. So, like I said, pick the fruit. Don't spend so much time studying the why, studying the roots, pick the fruit. So the receiving part is automatic, okay? Um, that's the second part there. The receiving part is automatic. The failure to ask is the biggest problem. And you've got to ask with faith. You've got to set adult goals with childlike faith. You know, children believe in anything. So ask for the same faith of a child. That's the important part. Number three, there's plenty out there. Success is a huge ocean. It's not rationale. You didn't go to the window and say, I want to be successful. It's like, oh, sorry, we're out of success. Anybody can get success. It's out there. Success is a huge ocean. Are you going to walk to the ocean with a teaspoon in your hand or a bucket? I'm going to get a big damn bucket. I'm going to need a huge bucket. So that's where we're at. The success is an ocean. You got to take advantage of it. You got to go out there. Don't show up with a teaspoon. Show up with a bucket. This has been inspired by Jim Rohn today. I've been listening to some of his videos and books and awesome. I really love it. One of, my big, one of my big goals for next year also is to read 50 books. I didn't finish college. So for me, it's important to get my education. I'm doing it now. I spent my 20s and 30s kind of floundering around. So now I'm just trying to catch up. I'm 50 years old. My life's half done, 51 years old. I got to catch up now. It's time for me to get after it. So um, that's an important thing too. Work harder on yourself than you work on your job. If you worked as hard on yourself as you work on your job, just think how much more success you could have, okay? You deserve it. Read, learn, grow. Get after it, man. Ask for it. That's it for today. You deserve to be successful. You deserve to be happy. And I love you very much. Everybody have an awesome day. Hey, check out my YouTube channel. I've got all the old videos on there. I'm starting to get it all cleaned up and looking nice. So I put a link down below. So check it out or above. I'm not sure which one, but that's it for today, guys. I love you. Have an awesome Wednesday. I'll talk to you later.